blocks, I had to go high from the Jakes I gotta make right decisions, everyone gon' make mistakes How you gon' take from your brother and turn a smile Excuse me guys, what uh, TV broadcast are you from? ITV. Oh, ITV, you're famous in the uh, Philip Schofield scandal. <laughs> Nothing to do with you, but you work for the ITV, right? Freelancer. Freelancer. But the ITV well, they are guilty of unethical practices, aren't they? <laughs> are you happy to work for people at the ITV, sir? <clears throat> no, don't want to talk, no? Don't want to talk, sir, no? Mr. Mr. Famous. Come on, do you not want to speak about the uh, TV scandal by Philip Schofield, no? ITV grooming children? No, you don't want to talk? Didn't think you would. You guys don't got no comments on it? Well, on on Philip Schofield, ITV. Don't the unethical... Film, Pardon? You're, You're in a public place, bro. Surely if you know about media, you know that's perfectly fine, right? I'll I'll that that there's nothing to hide. As if it, it's all in the hands of, of the government and the police, isn't it? But surely you work for the ITV, I right? I work for them, I'm a freelancer. A freelancer, but you, your work is for the ITV. Just because you're a freelancer doesn't mean you don't do work for the ITV, well, like you, you are today, right? Anything. Doesn't matter what I do for okay, anything. Yeah, but I'm saying, if you work for somebody, a householder, yeah. and they've got a criminal record, do I come and ask you what you think of their criminal record? Would you not go work for another TV broadcaster that's not corrupt? You got, do not think mainstream media, man, corrupt as you like. Well... You just push out a very... Uh... So you could say the same to somebody who works at a petrol station because they're working for an oil company. Do you think oil companies are ethical? No, I don't actually. Well, so but it's a little bit different, I'm isn't it? Go it's a little bit different, isn't it? When you, when you guys are there filming fake news, when you know fake news is going... What, you're telling me that you don't, you're telling me the ITV's not guilty of fake news? Not as far as I'm concerned, though. No? No, they don't push out a wokery narrative. No? As far as I'm aware, no? Come on, you know they do. You know they do. No, I don't. You know they do. And how come you got such a problem with being filmed, bro? You're a camera guy, right? I'm not a camera guy, no. no. What do you do? What's I your job? The What's your job? None of your business. None of your business. No. Don't know why you'd want to work for the ITV, man. Or why you'd want to work for any of these TV broadcasting. Yeah. Okay, you're just you're just earning money to take home to your family, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I won't come up to you and start having Hang a Hang on, but when you're, you're, you're... So you are a camera guy, yeah? Yeah. So... When you're stood there and you're filming somebody yeah. that's putting a, a false narrative out no, to the members give, of the public. I, I know today you have to do with homes on uh, under the hammer, isn't it? Today? No. no, no, we're doing a competition. We've just given a guy some money. He's oh, I thought it was homes under the hammer. No, he's just won a competition. He's had cancer. He's had a heart bypass, and we've just given him ten thousand pounds. That's fantastic. That's yeah, good, isn't that. it? So but can we just do that and, and make his day for him rather than being hassled? No, I'm not hassling you. I'm no, asking no, some no, questions. It's, it's not every day. It's not every day you get ITV in your street or even. In your right, estate. So my, my point was just simply if you worked behind the counter at a petrol station and you're just earning money for your family, yeah, I wouldn't come up to you and start having a go at you about what BP are doing. No, I'm asking you for your road. opinion. I'm That's asking what, you this for is my opinion, yeah. So, as I'm a freelancer, I don't think it's fair to start having a go at me about something at a corporate level which is happening by to be fair, people that I. I do the odd day of work. To be fair, in that I'm industry, money for my family. I'm just yeah, to be fair, in that industry, you, most of you guys are freelance, aren't you? Yeah. Like literally, well, we yeah. Are, we are on the technical side because they don't. The, the equipment, it's like all, you know, like your computer, it goes out yeah. of date really quickly. Yeah. And they don't want to keep buying it, so they yeah. hire us in with our latest camera. And then if it goes out of date, I have to buy a new one. All, te all television companies do that. So everything you watch yeah. goes from the broadcaster, it's subcontracted to a production company. Right. And then they'll hire in a producer for six months to make it. Okay. Then they'll hire in us probably two days a week. Or they, they literally hire us one day here and there. So I'll work for ITV, I'll go and work for BBC, I'll go and work for an independent who's making a show for Netflix. Or yeah. So we just literally fill up our diary. Did you, uh, did you see the Andrew Tate interview that the BBC done? Andrew Tate, no. Andrew Tate, you not seen that? Who's that? I don't know Andrew Tate. Oh, uh, he's kind of... Uh... The funny thing is, I don't watch telly. Do you not? <laughs> because I'm uh, always travelling. The irony, the I'm irony. I'm always travelling, so people always go, oh, what did you watch this? I'm like, oh, I don't see anything. Oh, OK. Should, no, there's a, a guy, quite an influential guy. 
Oh, uh, did, you know yeah, Andrew Tate did, went to did, Romania YouTuber. prison. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, you, uh, BBC tried to reach out to him for an interview at his home address because he's on home arrest, which he'd done. And um, he made a bit of a mockery of him, and BBC actually pulled the whole interview down. Um, so, yeah, it's quite interesting. But now, I wanted to get your views, man. I've actually I, I've got a YouTube channel myself, okay. and um, I've been doing a lot of stuff well, look, at the moment, covering. Living, yeah, no, no, of course. So, of we've course. got a live to do in about um, five minutes' time with this guy who's... An here, here. No, don't worry, I'm not going to be here for that, mate. I'm not going to be here for that. Mate. Not gonna be here for that. Right. But uh, how long have you been doing it for? Oh, wow, since a little, oh, 20, 28 years. Yeah. Has it changed much? Has the industry changed much in those in that time? It's like, I tell you what, at the moment, it's like all industries. Everybody's strapped for cash. Yeah. Because the advertisers, because no, no one watches scheduled TV now. Yeah, they yeah, I get go, you. Um, so, you know, so selling, they used to make all their money on things like ITV or Channel 4 out of selling the advertising gaps. Yeah. And that used to bring in all the revenue, so now it's harder to do that. Okay. So the income from advertising has gone down. There's more channels, which means budgets are getting squeezed. So, of course, would they turn around to us all ways and go, can you drop the rate by yeah. X a day or this, that and the other? So it's just tougher. To nah, no worries, mate. Like, like, like I say, if you've like, got... Like yeah, everybody, if... right? Everyone's finding it tougher to make it pay now. No matter what you're doing, it's the same for us. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. And you've only got a job to do. But I'm going to ask the questions. I'm a bit of an opportunist. Yeah, you know yeah, yourselves yeah. in this in industry. You got to be a bit of an opportunist, or you don't get anywhere. But um, yeah, nice cheers, bro. Yeah, right. thanks anyway. So yes, that's um, ITV camera guy there, as you heard. A lot of them are freelance. I have spoke about this before, them being freelance. Um, but yeah, there is somebody that's won ten thousand pound. He's um, he's been he's been very ill. He's been very ill. And he's won £10,000 and I believe some other stuff as well. So they're just about to run alive with this guy. And the fact that he's not very well uh, and hasn't been very well means I'm not going to stick around any longer. I just thought I'd stick it on him. You did see the presenter there, Otis. Otis didn't want to speak to me. But that is the way it is, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I'll leave this one here. Only a short little video. But... If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.